What we're doing right now is we treat sepsis as everybody's the same. Well, not everybody's not the same, just like all cancers aren't the same. And so one of the things our group has been interested in is what we call precision medicine, trying to figure out when, when we first see the patient, how are they different from just a genetic standpoint and their what we call genomic response. And that's a big part of our research is looking at that genomic response and trying to figure out early on uh, what trajectory these people are on because people don't all act in the same way. People haven't recognized that uh, sepsis in the past and the reason they haven't recognized sepsis in the past is when people died, they said they died of natural causes. Well, the natural cause of death is sepsis. When we look across the country, um, while we know what we're supposed to do when somebody's septic, the compliance with those recommendations is dismal, somewhere in the range of probably 35%. And so we're able to get that compliance up above 80%. And so that's probably the biggest change that's happened at University of Florida is uh, the proactive screening for sepsis and then the rapid implementation of what is considered to be standard of care or evidence-based care.